Hey, in this tutorial I will show you step by step how to install the GLSL shader mod on the newest Minecraft version. And I will explain everything for Mac and Windows at the same time. Anyway, it isn't much different. Okay, first of all you have to click the link in the description and um, yeah, you can see at the left corner here um, how it looks at the end. So at the end of the video I'm in game 2 and I show you how everything looks after you install the mod. Um, but yeah, the mod just adds shaders or water shader so everything looks better all right um so yeah you see i will install this on 1.6 but this installation where works also on 1.7 1.8 and so on um yeah the way is the same only the download is different and if something else is different i will yeah say this here in a comment or something so look through the comment and the description if i wrote something important there Okay, but let's start. Um, first of all, you have to download the GLSL shader mod and therefore you just go on the page of the mod. Uh, as I said, it's in the description and here you look for download. At the moment, there's only a, a beta version available. So I click here because here I can download it at the moment. This is the date. And then I will come to another page um, of this yeah, topic where the um, guy who made the mod posted the download links. I um, think these links will be um, here at the top page soon too. Okay, anyway, um, you just choose one. I will choose the Mediafire link and then you will come to another page. You have to wait five seconds here and then click skip add at the right corner here at the upper right corner. So here. Okay, and if you have done this, you will come to the Mediafire page and there you can click download and download the mod. Um, here, just click it and close the advertisement. Okay, it has downloaded now. Now you need some shader packs too, because um, you have only the mod now, but you want to have shader packs, which make it look different too. And um, the shader packs are much different from each other. So if you took another shader pack, it looks different too. You can have shader packs that uh, make water reflections too, or take um, shader packs that don't make water reflections. Um, this depends on what you want. This is a very light shader pack, so no water reflections and bad shader. Um, and I recommend you the Zeus, also Sonic Unbelievable, um, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable shaders. So this one, um, he has great shaders and everything looks great. So I would recommend you to take these, but they need much resources too. So if you want to install a shader mod, you need more than five um, gigabyte of RAM or something. So you need a good computer too. Okay, and um, so you can install the light version, no reflections, no water reflections. The standard version has water reflections and these um, have even better yeah, reflections, um, but I would recommend you this because it's the best and this has yeah, some nice things that I will show at the end of the video too. All right, so I will download this and I will download an older version so these as at these six, because I think it's the best looking one. You can test all of them if you want. I will download only these three packs. Um, and if you've done this, you click here on the right page again, skip it. I think you know these again, skip it and then download it via Mediafire. Click download and uh, what I have downloaded. Yes, I need these. This one again, download. Okay, and now I need the last one, this one. Okay, um, so now I downloaded three um, shader packs. You can download more or less too, um, or download the same uh, which I downloaded. But um, if you've done all this, you can close your browser. I will close all this advertisement. So, like this. Yeah, oh, and then I put everything on my desktop to have a better overview. All right, um, if you've done this, you can go to your Minecraft folder. Um, I think you know where your Minecraft folder is. If not, you can watch the tutorial at the upper right corner here too. Um, but I think, yeah, you know where to find your Minecraft folder. Just go there and in your Minecraft folder, you now have to install Forge. Um, so I don't explain the Forge uh, installation here because I have already done a video about this and um, I will not explain it two times. Just click at the left corner here. You can 
quick um, yeah, watch the video how to install Forge. And if you install Forge, so after the video, you come back here. It's important that you install Forge because otherwise you don't have these mods folder here. These mods folders added by Forge. If you start Minecraft one time with Forge uh, enabled, these uh, mods folder should appear. And in these mods folder, um, you just drag and drop the shader mod Jada type. So this one, uh, make sure it's in there. And then, um, yeah, you're almost finished. You just have to add these shader packs too, but um, you make these in game. So, um, you have to start Minecraft one time that the shader mod can lo load some files. So just open Minecraft and yeah, log in. So as profile, you have to choose the Forge profile. So it starts with Forge and then hit play. And when it's done, you have to click on options here. And then you should have these shader bar here, or this shader, yeah, thing. And then click here, open shader packs folder. This should open these shader packs folder, which is now in your Minecraft folder. Um, and here you can just drag and drop all the shader packs you've downloaded. So these three. And if you've done this, you can close this again and you have these shader folders here now. So um, for now, I will go to my Windows computer because there I have some yeah, more resources and everything will work without lags. So see you there. All right, and here on my Windows PC, I can just go in game and I will create a new world and name these shaders. Yeah, shaders mod, okay, like this. And I will go to creative. You can go to a multiplayer server too, of course, because this is only a mod that change how everything looks like yeah, for you. So um, it works on multiplayer servers too. All right, okay, here I am and, oh, there falls gravel in the dark. Um, and now I will just enable the shader mod. I will just enable a mod that doesn't change much though like this you see everything almost looks like before you just ha have these bad shadows here okay um but yeah now okay i will um, download or <laughs> no download i have al downloaded already i will activate um a very good shader for example this one version C in this dof and if this activated you see the shader yeah you see the shader clear and um the water looks different too it's very clear too. And um, the special thing of the uh, version I activated, this DOF version, is that you can um, yeah, look at something close and everything in the distance um, gets yeah so like this, so you can't see it clear. And if you look something in distance, um, everything that's close gets, um, yeah, I don't th know how to, how's the English word for this? Uh, it's blues. Now, um, okay, <laughs> but uh, I think you know what I mean. Um, it looks very good if you want to install some, or if you want to make some movies. So if you, yeah, make this camera like this or something, it looks very good. All right, um, but now I will just enable another shader mod. For example, this one here. This is, in my opinion, the best one if you just want to play because it has a very warm look. You see this, and I will time set one back like this and. Yeah, this red look, I like it. But the shader isn't so clear um, as it is with the, the other uh, shader that I had before. And I have here another shader too. Uh, you can download this too on the page. Um, and this would look like this. So yeah, you have uh, many different shaders which you can choose. This is very cool, I think. And yeah, I hope I helped you with this tutorial. Um, have fun with the mod and yeah on my channel there are many more videos um, how to install some minecraft mods yeah and <laughs> that's it um, okay as always uh, remember all the videos I made are only original with these crappy accent <laughs> all right see you on the next video guys